She or he who hunts for forebears through the archive at Elgin knows that the past is never sepia, except as the result of technical naivety in the mechanism of memory or the chemistry of light. In my father's mind, there was but black and white. Look, that woman who with her empty creel waits in weeds on the bucky fish key for a spume-broken glimpse through a heaving sea of a garnering ship that long since sits flanks and planks agape asunder on the tumbled rocks of Elgol below the headless crofts that died alone when the people driven went from the land agent's fire and the landlord's rent. Not yet spent is the taste of the flesh of seabirds' eggs, that sea rack taste that he learned to endure, of bird rendered par, plucked from the jaws of the searing white sky, gathered in clutches from the teeming shore of Turn Island's crouch, low on the spay. At Tugnet, perched on the jaws of the river, prowling again, ready to bite its own forcing channel through the huddle of Kingston. The fishing museum is a snapshot too. The salmon an idol rendered in plaster. The faces of fishers close to the bone. Positions frozen in the rhythm of effort. In this designated area of outstanding natural beauty. My father aloud remembered. Who never came home from the tumult of waters that closed in on their eyes, as the ravenous dragnetting flow took its dues amongst the fishers of Garmach. And his brother, my uncle, loudly contemptuous of change, the shire engineers had sought to enforce, by blasting a mouth to bite on the frenzy that sent cottages scattering as the waters arose, with the might of far mountains, as their drift snows unfroze. Emissaries of granite, the first floods took back a mile's width of plain from the scratchings of men. How long was his love for that river and his unbound abandon, and the headlong salmon soaring high from its spate, and how broad his contempt for the efforts of those who tried to impose the violence of order on its deep, dark flow. From the braes close by Sconser, you can glimpse it across the reflections of mountains, broken by Orca. The hamlet of Clachan on Maclean's Rathasair, strung out like pebbles, randomly there. See a small white house on the lip of the sea, backed by a clifton that hoods it in lee, where a limpeting aunt clinging on, gallinaceous in both aspect and voice, celebrated her centenary as a consequence of choice. In exile in Murray, the places remain in vivid incarnations of the spirit of place. Our Jewish, Oskeg, Swishnish, Rathasair, that sorely invokes on every page of a landscape that lives in every soul, that grew by its lochens, heron-speared, bold, or foraged for cockles, in the old harbour's bowl. Though the sound in its violence roars, impossible to broach, and the breath of the Arctic, icy and frantic, colludes with winter's reproach, the enduring sensations are wide, blue and clear, and the shadows of woodlands harbouring deer. She speaks the names like a liturgy of peace and peoples her memory with strong, honest kin, women whose work was all of a piece in hewing and setting the cornerstones of weathering and dark-bearded men whose gathering guile kept the pot in every cottage, croft, filled with the herring, mackerel, cod and the laird's lost yearlings. Mutton and venison taken by night, the, the fish, fish by, by day, day 
on the sound's glacial light. Where the river meets the sea they returned, to tend the plot they took back by hand from rank and gross neglect. And each for all the generations of us makes vivid the times before their currents intertwined, mingled breath and gave voice to my brothers and lately to mine. Like the arctic turns of the spay and the sea-cleaving otters of Clachan neat on Rassi's shore, the exiles I've taken with my father's search for more, meaning enough, or my own running from unease of place, or the ambiguous myths I made to beguile and to make it easier to seem than to be, have circled me back day by year's long day to where I sit to breathe a while on the rocks of our Jewish or by the space swollen race where both Ted Hughes, Tooth and Claw and saw these gentle geomancy are. The black and white images from my family's albums Team in my stillness, like, like circling, circling turns. turns.